just because I can and because I was awake. Um, and we will be doing a dame because I love this little pattern. I'm actually about to write a an add-on pack to turn it into a different style bag, which I thought would be fun. And I probably should have put in my bobbin before I clicked go, but that's fine. Oh. So this week's been very hectic for me. Yesterday, uh, my child's bike and scooter got stolen. Um, and then as we were on our way to the movies, we saw them with some children. So we now have them back. It was a very short-lived problem. Thank goodness. As his scooter was a Christmas present from his uncle. Uh. All right. Done. So it is, what, 5, 5.30 in the morning here? It's still dark outside. And I have Horror Clear Vinyl from Inklings. Hello! I'm actually quite excited about this. Oh. Hello, everybody. Um, so because this is clear vinyl, there's very few pieces. I'm doing a front and a back. And I did have a front pocket, but it seems to have gone MIA. So I guess we're just going to make like a super simple version of this. Um, and my zipper part. And we're going to have to turn the light on because there's no natural sunlight coming in due to the crazy earliness of today. Um, and I went with wine coloured vine, uh, not vine, wine coloured zipper. Hello everybody. So it's school holidays here for everybody that doesn't know that, which is why you haven't seen me much lately. Uh, but I wanted to, on my list of things to do is literally alive. So here I am doing it at 5.30 in the morning. Now I've actually never sewed clear vinyl, but I see it's all the rage. So I thought I'd give it a go because I have some. Someone did tell me I have to change my tension, but it looks really good. Look at that. That is nice tension. So I'm not going to change mine. Oh, I forgot my cart. So if you're in my Facebook group, at the start of the school holidays, I put up like a really big list of all the things I would like to get done. Can I just say it is going very well. I have done nearly half the list. And we're still not even through the first week. I made myself some dresses, which was awesome. Um, I've done two of the five dresses I want to do. I've done two of the three laser videos I wanted to do. And then I've done a bunch of other stuff as well. It's going well. I like it. Never used it, but I've heard it's shifty. See, well, this is why I wanted to do a live, so you can get like a... An, instant feedback of what's going on. So far though, nothing too dramatic. Dramatic. Oh, and for those of you who don't actually watch the videos but you want to see, I did some bracelets. They look so cool. So the top one says I love you to the moon and back with the moon and then because it's me and I'm extra, on the back clip I put the matching moon sign. I'm so happy. They come up really, really cute. I'm going to take photos of them today. The black ones are like more subtle, um, but I'm, I'm still not mad about that. Oh, I think I did very, very well. This is my healthy breakfast instead of a Red Bull. These are um, like green tea cold things. I do love playing with my laser, not going to lie. Makes me happy. Oh, I didn't get hardware. I didn't really think that through, did I? Okay, what hardware have I got here? We're going to go with gunmetal. Because I have D-rings on hand. And that's pretty much the only reason why. 
we can use this as the D-ring. Or we could have used strap connectors. Very good point as well. Um, so when the school holidays are over, I am going to pick one of my patterns, or we might do a poll, and you guys can pick one of my patterns, and I'm going to do like a week's worth of videos on altering the same pattern to make it look very, very different. Because I really want to do it. It's on my list. And I think it would be fun. The main thing about clear vinyl too, by the way, is that every time we like miss sew, you're kind of going to see it. Really got to think about that too. Can't quite make out what's on the fabric. It is horror themed. Of course it's horror themed. It's me. So it's got like a Freddy's glove and the it balloon and knife and chainsaw. Um, it's even got the, um, the jigsaw face. <laughs> Freaky TV, which I assume is a kickback to the ring. It is amazing. What is that one? That one I don't know. Any any thoughts on this one here? I don't recognize it. There's obviously a jack in the box, but I don't get the reference with the scissors. But either way, it's got Scream Mask. It's got um, Hannibal Lecter's Mask. Jason, uh, the boat from it, Hatchet from probably the movie Hatchet, Moth, which I assume is Sons of the Lands. It's very cool. I like it. But then again, I do like all things horror. I um, I have a bunch of videos cut out. It's just really, really hard to record them this week. So we might have to wait till next week. My drawers are actually full now that I look at it. I've cut out another dress. Uh, so the dresses won't be videos this time around. I'm just making myself dresses to eliminate the giant pile of fabric I have going on in my house. We might grip all of those together. Um, so one of the hacks that I'm going to do with this is we're going to make a chunkier bag. Um, so that'll be fun. I have a few things I'd like to do. Alright, so then what I'm going to do is hide that seam because it's got the zipper. We're actually going to put some binding over the edge and then we won't see it anymore. I might trim it down just a smidgen. I don't know if I've ever told you this, but when you're putting on binding, you do your seam allowance, then you just chop off just a little bit so it's guaranteed to go over it nicely. See, look at that, perfect. Chop the end off there. And then we're going to fold over that, and this way this hides the raw edge of your zipper um, and the other piece of binding. Hello everybody. I also don't have my laptop, so if it, like 20 of you talk at exactly the same time, I'm going to miss stuff and I do apologise. Uh, feel free to repeat yourself though, and I promise I will try and get to it. Oh, I heard that. Did you hear that? Two stitches and it's having a meltdown. Made a giant knot in the back. That is my very naughty bobbin, that's what that is. It used to have the spring in it that everybody keeps talking about, but it got bent. Uh, so it got thrown out. Kind of annoying, but such as life. I should probably get another one now that I'm in Townsville. Get one off Josh. All right, bend it over. You can clip it down. You can double-sided tape it down. I'm just gonna stitch it. Move that out of the way so I can actually back stitch would be helpful too. Right, 
Right. And so now there's no raw edges. And then what I'm going to do is from the outside, I'm going to fold it down and top stitch it down as well. So on industrial machines, you can actually get a spring that goes inside the bobbin case. Uh, and what that does is it stops it springing back and giving me grief. I did used to have one. It doesn't look like a spring though. It just looks like a, like a, a bent piece of thin metal. That's actually what it looks like. But it is a spring and that is its purpose in life. See, and so now we have a really neat edge. So on the inside, we've got no raw edges still. Looks fabulous. I don't know if other people do this in their videos. To be honest, I haven't had time to watch many people's videos lately. Not because I'm being a video snob or anything. I've just been busy. So now we're going to put the right sides together, make our loop. Clip this together at the end, like so. I do keep changing from a joining stitch length to a top stitching stitch length because that's who I am as a person and I can't help myself. Probably don't need it, but we're doing it anyway. Uh, so, end. Trim a little bit off. And when I say a little bit, like a little bit, you don't need to trim off a lot. And put it in the bin as you go. I promise it's going to help. Then we put this here, trim off a piece, fold it in half and get like a little crease. It does help. Crease it, fold it over. I'm glad I'm being helpful and you're welcome. I will do videos until people stop watching. If I start getting less than 50 views, clearly I am no longer required and I will stop. But until then, I will continue because it is kind of fun. Alright, and then we're going to open it up and we're going to top stitch it down. And it just looks really, really neat. So that is now our gusset. It's cute. It's neat. You've got no raw edges. Everyone's happy. Now because we're not doing the front pocket, you could do the zipper and just instead of bending it over like I normally do, you could also just lay it flat and have a zipper. Um, you could just have it as a slip pocket. I can't do any of that because I don't know where it is. I do distinctly remember cutting it out. It is just not currently here. Now, right, bend it over, clip. We're going to find all the centres of everything because the centre of everything is useful. So much quicker than measuring. Same with this one. So this is a really quick project when it's clear. Also, I saw today Aura Rosa has a new pattern out. It is super cute. Alright, so, centre. I am not going to clip the zip, guys. We don't clip the zip because it frays and carries on and it's just not worth it. If you do insist on clipping the zipper, Please instantly melt it with a cigarette lighter. My cigarette lighter is not here because I took it with me yesterday to melt the rope because I was making like a pen for my horse. Oh, I just missed those comments. I don't I think I can fix that. No, I can't. Bugger, that's all right. When somebody else says something, it'll pop back up. You've got to be quick on the phone. And I didn't grab my laptop because I'm an idiot. Where's the centre? Did I do centre bottom? No. Yes. I'm sure I did. No, I didn't. Good job, me. I 
there we go, and then join those two centering points there and there, and these will be your side points. Smooth it down. So another way you could have attached your D-rings to this is put another strip all the way along here and make it go around the bag. That's another option. To be honest, there's actually quite a lot of ways we could have done this. Let's do the zipper side first so I can get rid of this clip. So we want the top of the bag. Make sure if it's directional that you can put it on directionally. Did you buy the pattern? It is a very cute pattern. Um, it is on my list of to-do videos for. I haven't got the pattern yet. Um, and I don't want to promise things I can't guarantee during school holidays. Because that's not fair to anybody. She said it was for intermediate. You know what? Do it anyway. Don't be scared of a pattern. Some of my patterns are very intimidating. I am very aware that Temptress is a lot, okay? However, that should not stop you from making it if you really, really love it. Just take it slow. Do little bits at a time. Don't try and rush it all in one day because you'll overwhelm yourself. You should just do it. Personally, I carry a big bag. Um, but I do see the appeal in the cute little ones. So with clear, clear um, plastic, by the way, it is both easier and trickier all at the same time. Uh, it's easier because there's like way less pieces to cut. It's trickier because it keeps sticking to itself and not in the right spot. Super annoying. So another thing with these corners, I know it freaks a lot of people out. That looks like it won't fit. See that? There's one edge, there's the other edge. What you need to do is I grab it and then grab the corner, hold them together and then kind of tuck it under so it's a 3D object, right? And just like that, it fits fine. You've got to make sure that you hold the bag the way it's actually going to sit. Uh, if that hurts your brain and you're like, nope, can't do it, no deal, add half an inch to the gusset or the zipper whichever end probably the gusset would be a better idea and then that way you'll be able to ease it in a bit easier that's true for everybody's patterns uh, when i first started and i was making uh, some of the swoon patterns i found them very very hard to ease in all you do is you make your gusset half an inch bigger or smaller depending on which way your problem is on which person's pattern and you will find that it will fix itself and then you just make that note that your sewing style requires that extra little bit there is nothing wrong with that so please don't think there is all right i've done something wrong because that one's too loose and then that one's too tight so i'm just gonna move that chip down So it is very, very sticky, guys. Fun times, fun times. 3D object, lots of clips in your curves. Oh, it's starting to get light outside. I like having a window right there. It's not light enough to turn my light off yet. I love this thing. So another thing you can do if you're struggling at all, um, or just to make it easier in general, is unzip your zip. You'll find that things will suddenly become a lot more flexible. Right, 3D object, clips. Done! Ta-da! Probably not. I'm going to put my stitch length on three. It's a halfway between normal and fancy. Now 
Another fun little fact, if you do a different seam allowance here, so long as it's not puckering in the corners, technically, totally fine. Just because the pattern says do half an inch or three eighths of an inch, technically, when we're up to this joining section, you can do whatever you want. And I'm gonna be the one to tell you that. Except here, because the zipper has to be quarter of an inch. That just shuffled out of the corner like the jerk that it's been. edging on. I always like to have the join at the bottom, but I mean ultimately you can put it anywhere you like. You can also make this binding out of lots of different stuff. Um, so you could make it out of this stuff, which is the webbing, or the binding. This stuff actually is binding. Or you could make it out of thick waterproof canvas, or you could make it out of... <laughs> Um, fabric. Even though this is a clear bag, you could definitely, if you had like a blood dripping fabric, you could definitely make this out of that. That would be super cute. If you want more stiffness in this bag, you can put, hello everybody, you can literally put anything you want. Don't, you don't have to follow the pattern. I do recommend following the pattern the first time to get a feel for it and then after that well draw your stuff go for gold do whatever makes you happy oh, i didn't turn my um air conditioner on and the room is getting quite stuffy doesn't help that i'm in pants so i've got to go back out to my horse this morning uh, and give him or we'll check on his feet Make sure everything's all right. Give him some feed. Uh, refill his water. We've also got another house inspection to go and look at today. Have a good feeling about this. Uh, the house number is Lucky 13, so that's pretty exciting. I know some people think it's unlucky, but considering I love horror movies, I'm okay with it. So that would be very cool. If the house hunt was over, and it's only about five minutes from where I currently live. Because I'm pretty sure they're not going to move the sewing room again. So I'll just do it myself with the ute. Oh, Jesse's up. I can hear him. He got slippers recently. It is a great house number for me. You are correct. Here comes Jesse in his slippers I bought him. Hey, Jessica. Good morning. How's it going? Good. You're so cute. You did it up all by yourself, didn't you? Good job. I'll just make it a bit tighter for you. Do you want to say hello to everybody? Hi. <laughs> there you go. Alright. Um, you have to have TV after this because I need my phone to turn it on, sweetie pie. He is so cute. I don't know what he watched recently, uh, but he insists on wearing a um, slippers and a dressing gown. Overlock Hotel. Ooh, that's cool. I've been thinking lately that maybe I want a Kindle to read more books. don't actually have to bind this bag technically I'm doing it because I think it's gonna look cool I mean I could be wrong but bear with me on that right because it's clear you can just leave it as a raw edge but I've decided 
I kind of like the red. I'm also going to tuck it all down, which may or may not work. I haven't quite got there yet. And then top stitch it to the front so it kind of pokes out like that. I don't know. I like binding. But you could do it without it. Okay, I swear I cut the centers. <sighs> See, I'm going insane. But you know, you don't have to um, do the binding on a clear bag if you don't want to. I want to because otherwise the video would literally be over already. And I think it looks cool. It's got the red, if you could get red blood dripping, even if you could get like a cool ribbon with like blood drips on it, that would be perfect for right now. You could just bind it in ribbon. That would be amazing. You can't tell me that wouldn't be amazing. And the bag's still clear, so all the laws about clear bags, this would still be fine. Also, if you wanted to, don't include the D-rings, and you can just have it as like a travel bag for medicines, or, you know, this could be your underwear bag. Just because I designed it as a crossbody dog poop bag, you are limited by your imagination. This would be a great little travel bag for like, cords if you're going overseas or underwear or you know your sunglasses toothpaste toothbrush and soap in a little clear bag you could go a lot of different places with this pattern always gusset cider but i could have not about like put binding on this and it wouldn't have made much of a structural difference. The binding does also help give it more structure, so that is that is something to consider when maybe going to skip it. The structure the binding gives makes the bag sit more the way you want and then less the way it wants. Oh, see it's sticking. I need to turn the air conditioning on. Oh, it's so hot. Jesse buddy, why don't you play Nintendo? Oh. Why don't you play Nintendo? Yeah. Yeah. You don't sound too keen. Isn't your Nintendo Switch? Um, no? Okay. Binding doesn't hate you, you just haven't mastered it yet. It's testing you. Much like this stickiness is testing me in this heat. All right, I'm gonna get up and put the air conditioner on. Oh, my God. going to help because this is hot and sticky and I don't like being hot when I sew which is why I could never sew in a shed unless it had like walls and aircon in which case it's not really much of a shed anymore did you get it only hates you because you haven't mastered it. Binding sometimes hates me too. Um, I tried it, I tried to do the binding like Sandra from the Ghana sewing room where she puts double sided tape and then just kind of goes with it and it was an absolute disaster. Turns out I have better luck with clips than double sided tape but again it was my first go so I wasn't really necessarily used to it. it gave me a full mental breakdown moment looked atrocious. I had to unpick the whole thing. There is a thread stuck in my dodgy foot. I need to buy myself a new Teflon foot. Uh, this one's got like a crack. Not ideal, let me assure you. I 
pretty sure my child just woke up my husband. Honestly, I thought I had more time before everybody got up. Okay, well, you're going to have to wait, sweetie pie. Okay, so that's that on. And now it looks all crunkly, crinkly at the moment. Just ignore that. Center. I actually like to go just over the center. And then clips. We're just going to go the same way around. But again, if you wanted to, you could skip that and just have it completely clear as it is clear vinyl. And we did already do this part. So you could just leave it as a clear bag. Oh, I just think it looks cool with the binding. But if you hate binding, this is an option for you. I don't know, each their own, I guess. If you hate binding, what you need to do is you need to do like six bags in a row that all have binding and don't let it defeat you. So the first one, see where you went wrong and then try again. So where a lot of people go wrong, if you need to trim off some of this seam allowance, if it's getting in the way and there's too much there, just cut some off. I promise it's not cheating. If you're struggling, especially in corners, now I do it a lot, just chop some of the excess fabric off so that the binding will go around easier. Also in corners, don't be afraid if it's got a little bit of a bump. You will sew that down. You are going around a corner. I haven't cut out a strap for this either, by the way. I haven't quite decided. So there will be no strap for this bag. Part of my thought was clear vinyl over red vinyl. Um, that was one thought that I had. Don't know. All in the tub, which means I didn't make a decision. I mean, blood spatter ribbon would be ideal, but there is no way in Townsville to buy that that I am aware of. It would have to be an online job. Hello, hello. Birthing is tricky. Try the fist move where you like push it through like that. There we go. Clip it together. Done, skis. Um, for those in Australia that have actually managed to be awake at this ridiculous time, um, I do have... I'm nearly out of uh, thick waterproof canvas again. I'm going to have to do another order. But on top of that, um, I've got my silver teeth zippers came in. So I've restocked them and I'm pretty sure I forgot to tell everybody. tails and we're done another thing um, when doing binding make sure so when you're stitching make sure you kind of grab this end at the corner and really bring the bag around as opposed to trying to just do the corner like this really kind of bring it around quicker it will help I don't know if that makes sense to you I promise it will help What size needle? This is a size 18. This machine, 18 is the biggest you can go, so I just use 18. Because sometimes I am stitching through like crazy layers. Oh, this is not fun to turn through at all.
but I do still believe that the binding is going to give some nice structure. Which it is. Hair dryer. Yes, that's another thing I could do. Um, I mean, I'm getting it. Just takes an extra minute, that's all. Push it up and out. And again, I would Tory squish this. Once you get it right on the edge, I would still go ahead and Tory squish this whole bag. It is still very cute though. These would be very cute as like pods. I would be more inclined, I mean for me personally, I don't need people to see what crazy stuff I'm carrying around. Um, which I understand is the point of the bags. Also, if I was at a festival, this would be really sweaty leaning against my leg all day. Super cute though, right? Binding just gives like a pop of colour without being too much. That was pretty easy and I didn't change my tension. Someone warned me that I'm going to have to do that. Oh, it turns out that was not true for this particular clear vinyl. That was good though. Still needs a little bit more Tory squishing in this corner. See how it's just not quite out yet. Um, far off it's just not quite still cool super quick so by making it a clear vinyl that was way quicker and I cut this with templates so it took like what 10 minutes to cut not even super cool all right guys well I should go because my child uh, is up and will require me now but I got a video in the holidays that makes me very happy uh, and I did a clear vinyl bag which also made me pretty happy <sighs> kind of want to keep this for myself I might cut these off and just leave it as a cool pod such a me bag anyway guys I will see you guys next time